I know Steven Soderbergh said he was retired, but maybe like many criminals in movies, he had to do just one last job. Being that I was your kid brother, I let you lead me into trouble with all your crazy cauliflower plans. My life of crime is over. But you did make breakfast this morning. Even burned the bacon like I like and you ate. I also saw you have some sort of robbery to-do list. I know this attempt to be organized is a big step for you, so go. Charlotte Motor Speedway. Logan Lucky stars Channing Tatum and Adam Driver as a couple of West Virginian brothers who decide to pull off a heist. Steven Soderbergh directs it after saying he was retired. Are we glad he came out of retirement? Well, here's five things you might want to know about Logan Lucky. Yes, of course we're glad Soderbergh's out of retirement. He makes amazing films. Why would we want him ever to stop? Logan Lucky's no different. I loved this movie. Let's start here. He gets characters. He just makes them so likable and charming. And man, Channing Tatum, Adam Driver, down the line, you just want to hang out with these people, experience what they're experiencing. He, he uses backstory and dialogue and presence in such a wonderful way. And a lot of directors don't do that. And for this movie, it's especially important because you're dealing with a culture, kind of that south down home kind of thing that could seem very condescending if done in the wrong hands. But he is definitely the right hands to handle this because you feel like he honors these characters. He's not being, you know, patronizing to them. He's actually honoring them in a very interesting way. And that uh, makes the movie so much better. And let's talk specifically about Adam Driver. He is the standout in this movie. I loved his performance here. And I don't usually love Adam Driver performances. Now, I get what he's doing. Of course, you think of him in the Star Wars stuff. It's Kylo Ren. And you think of him, of course, from Girls, the TV show. But I've always felt like he had an element of himself to everything he did. Here, he's totally different. And I totally bought it. He has turned me around 180. I'm an Adam Driver fan. I think he's amazing here. Actually, I think he deserves awards consideration. And I can't believe I'm saying that. And it's not like I hate his work. I've just never seen him do work like this, and it's really good. It's interesting with a movie I love like this, I don't have enough slots to talk about all the things I love, but I had to mention the humor in this. Had to take up one of the spaces. This is laugh out loud funny. I, I, I do not remember laughing out loud this much at a movie in a long time. And he does this interesting thing with this dialogue, which is where the humor is. It's very well written, very interesting, very clever where he's willing to stretch these jokes beyond what you think they would bear. The scenes continue to go on inside these jokes, and you know what? It works in almost every case, which is interesting because that's a risk. There's a real risk if a joke doesn't land right, and then you spend another 90 seconds on it, another two minutes on it, uh, it can feel really stale, but it manages to work every single time in this. I was laughing so much, I just had such a great time, and that's a big reason why this movie works. But here's the main thing about the movie. It's a heist movie, and the heist is amazing. I love this plan. I love what they're doing. I haven't seen a heist this good since the Oceans movies. It's almost like the same guy did all of them, uh, and he is so good at it. You know what it is about Soderbergh? You know what he gets? It's not just that it's intricate and clever, which this is, and I love the ins and outs of it. It's that it's experiential. He understands how to present the information of the plan as you're moving through the plan. So it's not all laid out beforehand, and then it's kind of boring as you go through it. You're figuring out what they're doing as they're moving through it, and it allows the movie to give you revelation after revelation about their intelligence in what they're doing. He's so good at it, and it's so well done here. I loved it. If there is a negative to this film, and I think this is a decent one, uh, it's in the pacing, especially at the end. Uh, I never would have even thought about looking at my watch for the first 90 minutes of this movie, but that last half hour seemed a little stretched out to me to provide for a plot line that I don't know was as completely necessary as the movie seemed to think it was. Obviously, I'm trying not to give a lot away with what's happening at the end of the movie. But I will say this, for those moments, I was feeling like, can we wrap this up a little bit quicker? And that's not just Soderbergh's natural style. Like, he does take a little more space, like I mentioned with the jokes 
in some of the character development and those kind of things. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about structure. I'm talking about plot. And it just didn't feel as well plotted for that last half hour as the first 90 minutes were. <laughs> Overall, though, Logan Lucky was a blast of an experience. I had such a great time. I cannot give it any lower than an A-. minus. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. We'll get to the Best Ever Challenge here in a bit. Before we do, let's connect further. Let's hang out on Twitter. I'm at Aaron Dicer, just my name, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. Have a lot of fun discussing movies there. We can hang out on the podcast if you do the podcast things. Uh, we do a weekly podcast called Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. Have a lot of fun discussions there as well. And of course, here on YouTube, subscribe, please. I would love that. Uh, hang out in the comments, chat, give your Best Ever Challenge answer, all that kind of stuff right here at YouTube. Um, have a great community building here, and I love that. Uh, also, speaking of that, thank you so much for being a part of building this community, uh, actually supporting me and my family financially through Patreon. Uh, it is much appreciated. Uh, when I got into this, I, I didn't do it looking at it as a source of income, but the more time it's taken up, it's just, it's a nice thank you, and I appreciate that thank you every month. $3 a month is where it starts at patreon.com slash yourmoviefriend. If nothing else, Go check out what some of the perks are. There's some pretty fun perks just for th throwing a couple bucks my way every month, and I appreciate it. Again, that's patreon.com slash yourmoviefriend. All right, on to the Best Ever Challenge, where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. Uh, let's go with Soderbergh. What's the best Steven Soderbergh movie ever? Now, I'm going to have to actually go with my second best. Uh, I think there's a pretty obvious best ever. I mentioned it in the review itself, but there are so many great movies he's made that I think are underseen that I want to highlight a different one. In fact, I'm going to go with the one that was so effective, I wanted to live in a hazmat suit for the rest of my life. It was incredible, that movie. So take a guess at what that is in the comments. First person to get it right, by the way, does get a point. As always, I'll give you a few extra minutes here to hit subscribe. Just click my face.